Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at The Adventures of Pip. Uh, this is a new game coming from... Uh, I forget what the developer's name is. Uh, well, it just started on its own. Uh, this is a Kickstarter game. Actually, I believe it failed the first time, but succeeded the second. Um, I'm going to double check that, but I believe that's the case. Um, and this game is a action platformer. I would actually liken it to a game like Evoland on Steam, which if you know that game, it uh, it was kind of about, well, that one was more about the having a game evolve from more primitive graphics and mechanics to more modern stuff. And this sort of does that too. But it's more in the context of a platformer. It doesn't really change style of game, or at least not in this demo. There might be something that they do uh, another time. Okay, it's TikTok Games that made this game. It was just called Adventures of Pip. Um, they're planning release in May 2015. You can hear the story here while I'm reading this stuff. Um, yeah, this is the demo they showed at PAX South. Probably PAX East, too. Um, yeah, so this has new environments, obstacles, enemies, all that stuff. So let's get in here. Yeah, the story... Pip is born up single pixel. That's where we start. And uh he's on a quest to save the princess. So I'm playing with the uh, this build has a uh, controller support, so that's cool. Uh, so it has this pixel. Basically I can jump. That's about it. But if I hold the jump, I do a slower descent. We learn here, jump on enemies. If you jump on enemies, you get higher lift. And you're intending to save some of these people. Hey, get back. Okay. Let's continue on. It actually looks pretty good. I like the look of it. Uh, turn it on my audio because it's awfully. Uh, there we go. And there's currency. Oh, oh. Uh, drops out of some of these enemies. And there's some secret paths like this that'll pop up. Are those supposed to be old women, maybe? Ghost. Owen Champion Knight of Pixelonia. Now evolved to Agile. And so I believe he's going to have a couple forms. And this form, run, attack, wall jump, and grab on the ledges. I can hold down B, or in my case, the circle button, to devolve. So, do this, boom, back in this form. The only problem is you're stuck in this until you kill one of these enemies. the blue flaming enemy. He's much faster to move around. Can't jump as high. That's his one flaw, but grab on the ledges. Punch. So we got platforms to drop. Oh crap. You got three hearts here. I was like, what? I can't jump that high. And it has the guacamole uh Wall climb, uh, not wall climb, wall grab ability. Where if I'm pushing up against it, I never drop. When I let go, he starts sliding down. There might have been in other games, so that's the game that most reminds me of some of these aspects. It seems like he took inspirations from Guacamelee's. A couple things Guacamelee did. Yeah, to get past this, I have to do the devolve. Yeah, that's what's telling me here to get down. 
I don't know how you get up there without doing that. Pixels, I believe they call their currency. Food to replenish health. Dummy to wall jump. Really nice controls, really quick, especially when you switch uh, switch forms, get to evolve a little bit. These guys are shooting at me. Oh. I don't like that you can't just like drop off. It's like, I wish if you push the stick in the other direction at it drop completely. I should be able to push right all right off. It's not that easy. That guy. Oh. Problem is I can't get under that without devolving. So I believe these are pretty much the beginning of the game so it's a little bit easy but not too much. If I had Agile Pips, I could do that more easily. Yeah. But I believe every time you hit this, you get full health, so not too big of a deal. Just need to kill this guy first. Agile. What that one is telling me, if I hold down, do that and sort of do a ground attack. Which for here... Boom. So let's talk about this. And secret spot. So I think if you see that little hole there in the... I guess this is dirt. Uh, dirt or a tree, I can't. Maybe a tree. That's a secret spot there. Meet our friend again. Our strength. Strength comes at a price. A wall drum or running. This this form looks very much like the uh, Mickey Genesis games, I think. Though I haven't played enough of those to be 100% sure. Of this. Okay, he can bust through these things. He has an actual sword. This is down back. Move on. This is telling me I can move. This. Okay, so. Up. Okay, so there's a block up there. We need to get up there. Just hold, jump. You'll go. He'll jump higher off those enemies. So, push this over here and open ourselves a path. Boom. Okay, so I need to be on... This one you have to hold it two times to devolve and he will let be able to get through on this. Otherwise, he will just stop. I'll show you that in a second. Oh. Yeah, if you're in evolved form, he just stops. Do that again. Okay. No, I can't. Evolve a little bit. Okay, so what's going on up here? Whoa. And when I evolve, it breaks those sorts of blocks. Uh, I need to kill this guy so I can get some wall jump. This little treasure chest. See, this guy will stop it. What are you doing? But we need him to stop. So 
Take a pleasure. I need to evolve so you can take us out. There we go. Oh, secret path. Save another. Falling off onto the spikes. Let's see that. There we go. I need to do that all over again, don't I? And he doesn't hurt you if you run into him. So I played this through once already, so I know what's going to happen. Uh, that'll be an important thing to know when you go into this next section here. There's no spikes right there, I don't know why you would die. There's no spikes. I'm not sure how I died at that point. Uh, so we got this guy here. Boom. Oh! This is a guacamole style sequence too, where it's come through and they color those walls because you can't wall jump on them. Again, it might be a completely different specific re uh, reference, but that's the one that pops to mind for me. I know they had at least one of those in uh, guacamole. I need to evolve, they're all slower, but we can break through these sword blocks. And that's the end. So that's Adventures of Pip. Uh, it'll be coming out in May, I believe, on what platforms? Steam, so PC and Mac, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS4, May 2015. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? No, I think that's it. He plays Pip. 32 bit world. Okay, the soundtrack is by Jake Kaufman, uh, who does a bunch of stuff for Way Forward, or did, I don't know if he's still there. Uh, he did Shovel Knight and a couple other games too. Yeah, it succeeded on Kickstarter in October. And uh, it'll be out in May. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this game, definitely keep an eye out for it when it comes out in a couple months. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time.